Hey guys, welcome to Bar Z. My name's Stan. <clears throat> and today we're going to talk about a Square Master. And there's probably not a lot of you guys that have these out there, but they're, if it ever gets bumped hard enough, the column inside can slip. And we're going to talk about that today. The inevitable finally happened to this. It got bumped pretty hard from the side. I was moving a table around and I bumped another table. And this, uh, this thing got hit hard enough where the column slipped inside the Square Master. So we're going to talk about what you got to do to get it square again. Uh, the column can slip side to side, but not front to back. It's a granite column. There's a clamp right here that clamps the granite into the Square Master. And then there's another clamp up top uh, right here. And to make life easier on you, what, what you're going to want to start by doing is removing all the sundries off of the front, which are your indicator holders like this. And then there's another bar that, that bolts to this, uh, I think they call this a carrier. Uh, this is an aluminum carrier that surrounds the, uh, the granite column. Now you get those off of there, and then, uh, then you have to remove the faceplate. Now this is the faceplate, and the first thing you're going to notice is that this distance and this distance is different. So just get yourself a little, uh, little ruler with a, with a stop on it and you check one side or the other and on mine this side is two inch and this side is like uh, about one and three quarter so you, you need to know that that these are different and the the your indicator holders and everything sit in this groove and they slide up and down like this now if your columns off too far to the left or too far to the right this is going to rub on the cover so you need to Get your carrier dead center of that, um, but be aware that this is offset. So when setting, when moving your column around, you need to make sure you're uh, not only very vertical, but you're also uh, in the center of your groove, which is tricky to do, you know, because a lot you get this all assembled and you get it running real good, and you put the cover on, and the column's too far left or too far right, even though it's perfectly plumb. So uh, to aid myself with this, what I've done is with all the uh, um, with all the little accessories off of there, I just bolted a piece of steel. This is an aluminum carrier, so there's no way to get a mag base on there. So I just bolted a little piece of steel on there, so I can in, so I can slap an indicator on real quick and make my adjustments and uh, you know adjust bottom and adjust top. <clears throat> now I've got it dialed in pretty good here on the the side to side axis. Um, and so, and we're adjustable on our feet. It's a three-legged mount, and the base has. I'm going to show you real quick. Is what I'm going to do. There's a there's a swivel mount right here. You see, I'm tipping that around, and it's on a ball and socket, and that's adjustable through this hole right here which is a, uh, an Allen wrench. You just drop an Allen wrench in there. Get this back down to the table here. So you get it back. Um, you can adjust it here on this axis, and then in the back, you adjust it here on this axis. Now these only have one turn of travel, and this is what I experienced. I got my column in where I thought I was close enough and then I went to dial it in here well I cranked that uh, foot down and I reached the bottom of my travel and then I started unscrewing the entire module this is a little cartridge that threads in there so I started unthreading the module you know to tip the thing and it started feeling real rough and real jumpy and uh, I had to basically pull it out get it to the center of its travel and start over but uh, here, let's pop this guy back on here. And we're going to do this axis first. I don't know whether you're going to be able to see our, uh, our indicator. You're probably not. And I've, uh, up to right now, I've got about, well, about an hour into this thing, just getting this column square getting it centered in the groove and uh, getting it dialed in again. 
So uh, be careful with your Square Master. If you've got one of these things, don't let it get thrown around or bumped. It is a nightmare to get set back up properly. So uh, let's, let's run it up to here. And I'm going to just tap this block out a little bit to zero. And I'm going to come off. And I'm just going to make a sweep straight down. Slowly and evenly, I'm just pushing the carriage with my thumb. I've snapped up to zero. And I'm staying on zero all the way down. Okay, pretty happy there. So on that axis, between this leg and the leg over here, we're, we're golden, we're happy. So now we're going to check it front to back because we've reseated the column in there and now we're going to adjust this back foot. And I haven't done this yet. And with my setup here, I don't think you're going to be able to see what I'm doing. You may just have to take my word for it. And, you know, after we get it all put back together, we'll do another final calibration. I just want to make sure I'm within <clears throat> within the travel of my uh, uh, within the travel of my adjusting screws. Yeah, you're not going to see what I'm doing there. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is uh, check it for backlash. Uh, without really moving the carriage, I'm just going to lift and then push down. I should see about a tenth of backlash, which I'm seeing right out a tenth. Okay, now I'm going to make a vertical sweep. Up to there. See, now I'm only off a few tenths. Uh, two, three tenths. So I'm going to this back foot. And uh, my gauge was dropping, so I need to tilt the Square Master back this way, so I'm going to be tightening the screw and, and essentially making that back foot a little longer. All right, that gets me back down to zero. And I'm going to make a sweep down. Zero again. Double check. Okay, I'm happy. All right, so that's uh, some things to look out for uh, with a Square Master. Uh, this thing's ready to go back together, but it represents the last eh, hour or so of my life. Uh, be careful with these things. Uh, uh, you know, bumping them, they, the column can slip really easily. Uh, one thing I did do, and I consider this an upgrade, and I did not get this authorized <laughs> from, uh, from the uh, PMC people. If you look down here, I've got a, uh, a little rubber pad behind there. It's just a piece of eighth inch rubber that I cut with a pair of scissors and I put it behind this clamp in hopes that uh, it'll keep it from slipping. Um, this is not where the column index is. In the back, it's got a machined area uh, that the back of the column indexes into. So it's got a reference point on the bottom and the back. The front is just a simple little flat bar clamp. So I put a piece of rubber in there to, in hopes of it uh, not slipping. So uh, that, that was my uh, homemade upgrade. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. And uh, if you got a Square Master, be careful with it. But if you do bump it and you get, get the thing on one of the axes out of plumb, uh, it's pretty easy to fix if you know your limitations. Uh, watch the adjustment capability of your feet. 
Uh, watch the slot in your cover. Make sure you center up your column on that and uh, get it plumb on both axes and uh, the square master will treat you good. All right, thanks for watching. Okay, so we've got the square master completely put back together. Got my GoPro mounted back on the arm that I usually run it on. And first thing we're going to do is check the, I guess this would be X, Y, I don't know. Doesn't really matter, but we're going to check the side to side axis first. And we're going to rotate our gauge around sideways where you can't see it. And we're going to move our stylus over like this. I'll tip you guys down a tad like this. Maybe you can catch a glimpse of uh, what I'm doing there. And we're going to slide down here all the way to the bottom, as low as we can go. And I'm going to zero up on uh, this block. All right. I'm just doing a final calibration on this before I put it into service. Okay, so she's uh, zeroed up there. Uh, I'm just going to lift straight up on the carriage. And we're doing good. And we're going down. She's on zero. Staying on zero. Okay, so we're happy with that axis. We didn't slip or move or anything when we put it back together. Now we're going to flip the get this little guy around this way where you can probably see a lot better and we're going to shoot for a one thou preload and move our stylus out where we think we're good and we're going to get there let's head down to the bottom Well, you're getting a nice view of the granite from there, huh? Okay, now we're, we're working on adjusting our back leg. Okay, let's make our sweep. Half thou below, she's staying all the way up. No needle movement at all. Pretty nice, and we're going to fall off here in a sec. All right, back down. Let's get it on zero, get a little more load on that gauge. All right, let's continue our sweep down now. All right, so it sure doesn't look like anything slipped. I think we're good to put this thing into service. Bump. All right. Done. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, so that's the end of the PMC Square Master. Um, we squared the column in both directions. Double checked everything. I threw the GoPro on there and took you guys for a ride. So uh, I think this thing's at a close, and I'm gonna treat it a lot better. I'm gonna put it at the back of the bench, and I'm gonna keep a actually I keep a pillowcase over it, keep the dust out of the out of the column. I cleaned the column while I had it apart. And I rubbed it down with the uh, lanolin standards granite plate cleaner, and it uh, it doesn't squeak anymore. You know, it's got a nice feel to it and a nice movement. So I'm pretty happy with this uh, plate cleaner. You can pick that up at Standards Granite um, on their website. But uh, I think this is at a close. Thanks for watching.